What's up guys? Um, today we're gonna go over these Lose TP1 rods. I uh, just picked up two of them and I'm really, really enjoying them and I just wanna go over with you why I like them, what's great about them, and their price point. If you guys have never been to my channel before and you enjoy you know, talking fishing, gear reviews, anything like that, uh, go ahead and use the subscribe button below. picked up the, uh, the TP1, it's a, it's a medium light fast action, it's for jerk baits and top water. And I found this rod to be very, very versatile. Um, as you can tell here, I'm throwing, you know, a blade bait, uh, I've thrown jerk baits on it, I've thrown a buzz bait on it, I've thrown a whopper plopper on it, I've thrown, you know, small little crank baits on them, little 1.5s, 2.0s, and very, very versatile rod, very, very sensitive. What I really like about them is these wing grips. These, these grips, you know, I've kind of dunked my hand in the water after catching a couple fish. And I go right back to the rod here and I don't feel like they're gonna slip off at all. They're very comfortable. You know, I, can, I feel like I can hold it all day long. The trigger is very comfortable. The eyes have the microwave guides on the very first one. Uh, just a very, very sensitive overall rod. Luz did a great job with these TP1 rods. Really, really like them. Very well constructed. Um, I've bought a lot of different rods in my time. I used to work at Bass Pro, so I used to get a lot of different deals on rods. This is one of my favorite rods in the $99 price range. Way better than the $99 price range, in my personal opinion. Very sensitive rod. Uh, even this small little crankbait, I can get a very good long distance cast out of it. Everything just feels very comfortable, smooth in my hand. You know, nothing is too overweight in between either the reel or the rod. It's just very balanced feel between both combos that I have. And the $99 price range, you cannot beat a Lose TP1 series. Check them out. Uh, I know they have them at Bass Pro Shops. I believe they have them at Cabela's. You can go to Lose website as well. Um, definitely try to get your hands on one of these. The only negative that I have about these rods is the hook keeper is actually right here on the trigger. And I'm not personally a fan of that. Um, it's kind of cool I guess it's different um, but a lot of us probably grab our rods from the reels or even like this you know if we're carrying a bunch of them at once I don't want my hands anywhere near especially with treble hooks I don't want them there that um, that's the only downfall about this uh, I know I don't, I don't really like to do it but I've just been kind of hooking my treble hooks right here if I had a single hook you know back here not a big deal um, but for crankbaits and jerk baits and stuff like that which is what these two rods were purchased for um, not a, not a big fan about that but everything else I mean the real seat tightens down exceptionally um, just an overall amazing build for $99 again I know I keep stressing that um, but I definitely want you to know it's something you need to take a look at if you're in the $99 range so if you guys have any questions about these uh, lose tournament series rods it's a, the TP1 series stands for tournament performance you know drop a comment below I'll do my best I can to answer it for you uh, again, I strongly urge you to buy the Lose TP1 series, $99 price range. Best rod in that market, in my personal opinion. If you, uh, if you want me to check out a different rod in the $99 price range and compare it, leave a comment below. We'll get after it. Thanks for watching, guys.